Get everyone, B Asian Dad here. We're going to do the unboxing and first impression of his Dell Latitude 3310. This is for education, so it is a 13 inch laptop aimed for student use. Now I've had a number of users from my channel asking me to actually do a review for the Latitude 3000 series, and I did reach out to Dell, and I managed to actually get one in for us to do a review on. So I'd first like to make a thank to the Dell ANZ team for providing this unit for review. After I finish my review with it, I will be sending it back. Now I will be creating a follow-up video of this particular Latitude 3310 after I spent some time with it, so I can then provide you with some results. So I will create a second video and I'll put a link in the description below once that is up for you so you can actually have a look at it. Now, for those who have followed my channel, know that I've actually got a fair bit of experience with the Dell Latitude series, um, specifically the 5000 and the 7000 series, and I'm starting to get used to the 9000 series as well. So, but the 3000 series, this is a completely new one to me. So I've never met one before, so I'm meeting it with you exact same time. And also for the, my first time viewers, just know that with these unboxing and first impressions, I actually don't know what's in the box and I pretty much just go quickly through the scan of the spec sheets just to see what it can be configured with and that's about it. I actually have not seen the photo of it, I don't even know what it kind of looks like so as much as a surprise to you, it's a surprise to me as well. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing. Now, of course I've got my good old trusty knife to do the unboxing there, so we'll start that off here. So let's draw it out now, again always cut away from yourself. Go and then the two nice little slit here. Oh, I've kind of missed that slit, did not. There we go. Put that away. Put that aside. And okay, now this does take a fair bit, especially these ones here. Let's see if I can get through that. All right, we got that. All right, still got. There we go. Okay, now let's bring it to the side to help you guys out to see what it is. Now, as always, I like to go through the power to see what it comes with. Now, so we've got the power cable here, and it's free prong. And oh, let's have a look, this is the power adapter. This is what I'm really interested in. Oh, it's a nice little small one. It's nice and light, I can definitely tell you that straight away. So it's free prong, and what is this one here? This is a 65 watt power adapter. And then we've got a good old barrel style there, so if you've got a lot of Dells running around, you can pretty much reuse a lot of your Dell power adapter, so that's nice to see, I like that. All right, let's bring the computer back out a little bit, so I'll just take that one out, let's move that across. Okay, and then we've got the laptop itself, Ooh, so I can straight away see it's black, it's nice, but I'll see, I'll see what else is in here. All right, we've got some documentation, we don't need those, we don't need those. Is there anything else besides that? No, that's pretty much about it, so I'm just gonna chop this down here, and we'll just take it out with the packet there, all right. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I can straight away see on this is fairly durable as well. I love the feel of this. Okay, this is very nice. It's, it's a black one for sure, and it's just polycarbon all the way through. This is extremely durable. I'm used to the 5000 series and the 7000 series, but this is that actually another level there. That's more of like a very premium sort of brush out look to it. But this is a very durable plastic here, for sure. I like this and it's got very nice rounded edges there. So definitely no frills there for sure. I love that. And it's actually nice and plain. Very, you can take a fair bit of beating, especially when you've got a lot of load on there. So that's got no flex there at all. How about this side? That's got no flex at all. So this thing is made to be very durable, which is what you want for students, isn't it? So I'm just gonna have a quick look at what ports we've got here first off, okay? So starting on the left-hand side of the computer here, we've got a USB-A port. So that's probably 3.1 Gen 1 port. We've got the HMI port. Now I know this is 1.4 A for version HMI. And we've got the ethernet port RJ45, which is great to see. We've got a USB-C port. Now this is probably a USB-C Gen 1 and we've then got the AC power. Along the back, we've got nothing besides the exhaust. Now that is really nice. This is really heavy duty for sure. With the exhaust is really covered nicely too. Now look at on the right hand side of the computer, we've got the security lock slot here. Then we've got another USB 
3.1 Gen 1 port, which is Type A. And then we've got the micro SD card reader. And then we've got the headphone jack as well. And around the front, there's nothing there as well. So yeah, this is a, quite a nice laptop. We're just very heavy duty. Uh, it's no frills for sure. Not like what you see for the consumer range there, but very, very heavy duty. So the IT department likes these as well, as well as parents because as long as you can't break them, that's what you want. Kids are very rough with their computers and this is very heavy duty to take on. Anyway, I'm gonna bring in one of my helpers in to help with me to one way open up this computer to see what this computer can look like underneath. So let's have a look. Now I'm just gonna, it doesn't do one finger, so I'm gonna to have to use two fingers to open this up. And there we go. Yes, this is definitely made for student use, I can definitely tell you that. The keys are completely different to what the 5,000 or 7,000 and 9,000 series means. This is, I wouldn't be surprised, this is a bit more spill proof. This is really, wow. Now I've, I've played with a lot of laptops and there's some really sturdy ones and a bit of flex in some of the middle, but this is, that has no flex. Oh, I'm putting a lot of strength there. And that's got no flex at all. So this is to take on a lot of beating. Wow, that's good. That's very, very, very well. And even for the keys itself, individual keys, that's got a bit of a, that really is made to be taking fairly durable. Well, I love the fact that they really have just aimed this um, to take a beating there besides the rugged range there. But this is not that far away from that there for sure. Now there's a bit of keyboard travel there. And as for quietness, Hopefully you can maybe hear the actual sound of the keys there. It's not too bad. Now the key, the trackpad, it is integrated there. And again, the feeling of it, it's definitely different grade to the 7000 and 5000 series. This is made to, you can definitely use, you know, moist hands on that, but it's definitely to actually take, again, more beating here yeah, compared to the other series there for the 5000, 7000 and 9000 series. So, and then you've got two click buttons, it is mechanical there. So that's nice there. Now I do know, that, that for the screen wise is IPS. Let's see, if I'm, let's see if I can turn one of these things on. I've never had very good luck on turning these laptops on camera, but let's give it a go. Will it work? I'm just gonna quickly see. Will I get this thing to speed up? If not, I'll just connect the power up and we'll get this going. I don't think it will. No, I'm gonna get one of my power. There we go. I can see the light turned on there, which is great. Now, the display itself is an IPS screen, now, which is very unusual for me to see in a commercial grade, or this is a, a more for students, but it is still under commercial grade computers. So an IPS, that's good to see an IPS screen, which means a better color reproduction. So, and I think this one only comes in one type of display it is a full hd display with touch as well so it's just gonna go through its setup now it does have a 720p webcam up on top and that's about it so let's have a look hopefully this is maybe set up i don't think so i might have to go through the setup there i think i do yes i would do so i'll get back to you very quickly after i'll go through the setup i've just done the setup for windows and i've noticed a few things on this laptop now first off is the bezel now you can see it's actually quite a bit of a thick bezel there but i've also noticed there's rubber bits along the sides here you'll see and along the bottom here as well now those rubber bits is when this computer is closed down it means and this is like stand on i probably you can probably stand on this and wouldn't be that much of an issue neither is to make sure that the screen the panel itself is not touching on the keyboard so it's just to give it some extra little bit of allowance there so if you put this like it's heavy textbooks i don't know if you get heavy textbooks these days there was a lot in my days but even heavy textbooks or even just things on top of it it's able to take on that there so that's the second thing i've also noticed is the keyboard now Underneath the keyboard looks to be very different to the other 5,000, 9,000, 7,000 series for latitude is it looks to be keyboard liquid spilt resistant there. I can definitely see that. If I can hopefully be able to get a little image there for you to see inside, you'll see there's actually more extra rubber bits or plastic bits surrounding underneath the keyboard. So I can definitely see it is made to have a bit of more liquid steel resistant. So that's kind of a nice little feature of this computer here. Now having a quick look at the display, it's got a nice gorgeous look to it. Now it's only rated to 220 nits of brightness, but I find it feels a little bit brighter than that, but I'll definitely be doing that test in the review video. I'll see how 
the luminance of it and, and it does support touch as you can see which is quite nice and we can also tell you that the style of the display is a matte sort of finish to it it's actually very very smooth matte for sure it's not like a really rough matte so it actually kind of looks a bit like a glass but it's not a glass so it is an anti-glare one so you can definitely see so hopefully you'll be able to see the viewing angle now i've got some lights running around so you can see that kind of glare but that's some really strong lights there so that kind of gives you a good idea but it is doing pretty well and as for the color wise very vibrant for sure but i'll definitely tell you tell you how accurate those colors are in the review video as well another thing i like to make a mention is it's got some really nice curved edges so there's nothing you can actually catch this on, on there and the other thing is that the edges are it's a different it's actually like a bit of a rubber ties on there so it can actually a bit provides a bit of cushioning uh, you can see it doesn't really scratch as much neither which is really nice so it is really durable so and it's got a bit of a softness to the edges there so again it is so it doesn't scratch or does very much harm so it provides a lot of cushioning there so i'll definitely say this is really built really nice for a bit of durability for sure now what this computer can be configured with with the processor wise it is using the eighth generation intel core and it can be an i3 or an i5 now i have read this can also do a celeron and also the pentium as well now this particular one i've got is an i5 version here and with the ram wise you can have the maximum capacity of 16 gigs of ram and as for the storage wise you can go up to 256 gigs ssd hard drive now that's using one slot of m.2 but we'll have a look at that when we do the internals in the review video now we can as for the graphics wise it's just using the intel integrated graphics and as for the battery life this has hosted a quite amazing battery life on this computer and i will definitely test that out i might as well do the one finger test and see how it goes so oh you can lift it up with one finger and then after that you do need to use two fingers to go through all the way through. Now, this is a clamshell, so it does 180 degrees all the way open. And I know this question is going to be asked. There is a tomb one. Now, what's the difference between a tomb one and this clamshell one? Of course, the tomb one, pretty much the back, the screen itself can fold all the way back. And the reason for that is you can actually convert it into a tablet. Now, when it's in tablet mode, it will support uh, digital pen so you can actually do take notes and also do some drawings for the tomb one now I know this is questions could be asked as well is can a pen be supported in the clamshell no you can't you do need to get the tool ones for the pen support there so hopefully that will be able to help you out on that so if you find this video informative or enjoyed it give it a like and if you haven't done it already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom screen i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video